What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going over a few topics in this video today, mostly Scream 7. We'll start off by talking a little bit about Welcome to Dairy and our first look on set that confirms one of our characters we can get to or we will get to meet in the upcoming It prequel series when it arrives on Max next year in 2024. And then we'll also touch briefly on Beetlejuice 2 when I start talking about Scream 7, which mostly regarding Scream 7 is going to be two big rumors that were shared with me. Uh, that I've had tossed about and crossed with some other people I trust. So again, none of this stuff with Scream 7 is confirmed. They're just two big rumors. But just to start off with Welcome to Dairy, the chief of police, Clint Bowers, will be a character in Welcome to Dairy. Andy Muschietti shared an image on set regarding the upcoming It prequel series, which we know is currently filming. Henry Bowers, uh, we know, was, I believe, the leader of like this were they called the Bowers Gang? They messed with the Losers Club in the original novel from Stephen King. And I think we've also seen his father at one point. Butch Bowers, I think, and then some other Bowers. Connie or Connor Bowers, who might have been Henry's, Henry's cousin, I think. So in... The adaptation that we just got, this is coming from Bloody Disgusting, the Andy Muschietti movie adaptations. Butch Bowers was a cop, so it makes sense that another family member was the chief of police some years prior, and we're going to meet them in the upcoming it prequel series. This will be Clint Bowers, so that was a nice little tidbit to see over on Andy Muschietti's Instagram if you want to go check that out. Jumping into the main event, we're going to be talking about Scream 7. So Scream 7 is deep in the writing process, and that was the last rumor we heard regarding the Scream 7 script. Now this came from viewer Anon, but the writer strike has made everything get questioned, such as did they even finish the script for Scream 7? Is 7 going to happen anytime soon? Because we know there was the rumor revolving around Paramount wanting it to start shooting no later than October this year. Me personally, I'm prepared to not have a movie till 2025, but I did have one or actually two new rumors that's been shared and recited by a few others that I know who have been told this same thing and I trust them. So I, I have a gut feeling this will end up being true, but Scream 7 has a draft that is complete. So I don't know who wrote this, but you've heard it here from me. There is a draft that is complete. The assumption, the safe assumption that I would expect is that Guy and James wrote this screenplay. Now, the other rumor, which is kind of more the same about something else that's already been surfacing online, but it seems to still be the case, is that Paramount doesn't care too much if Jenna is back or not. Jenna were taking that bean, of course. Now, you might ask, why is that? Or you might decide to just throw a tantrum instantly, but go off. Perhaps Scream 7 is going to be a Sam and Sydney co-led film. If you recall, Jeff Snyder was the first person who shared this rumor about Jenna not being waited on possibly by Paramount. And now I'm hearing it sound like it's getting her back isn't a big concern as well. Which makes me curious about the creative direction. Again, this isn't confirmed and Jenna could still be in Scream 7, but if her schedule doesn't allow it, then oh well. Jenna is confirmed to play Lydia's child, aka Winona Ryder, in Beetlejuice 2, and she will be joining Tim Burton, who returns to direct, Catherine O'Hara, Michael Keaton back in the titular role, Winona is back, and Justin Thorox in an undisclosed role, I believe, is also attached to this project. This is coming from Variety. Production is set, set to start on Beetlejuice 2 on May 10th. I out in London and the film is dropping next September so if Jenna is free in the fall if filming still happens this fall maybe she'll be back but if she's not able to it seems like a plan is in place for that lack of her return because it doesn't seem as though that's a priority for them that's just what I'm being told uh, here here's what I would say about Tara and how how you could handle Tara you could kill Tara that would be fine it's not my preferred outcome but let's say you kill her how should that route play out? Use that to break Sam and maybe Sam's innocence is questioned because a narrative is played up that Tara kept Sam centered. And now that she's gone, Sam has snapped and become the very things that she tried not to be, which, of course, is a killer just like her father. Of course, this wouldn't be true. And our real killers will be exposed later on in the movie. Sydney as a cold lead can easily be established by Ghostface abducting Sydney's child and baiting her into thinking that Sam knows where the child is, only to, of course, draw and lure her in to where the other Woodsboro survivors are at. And once Sydney arrives, she would, of course, learn the truth. Sam does not know where the child is. Sam has nothing to do with the upcoming or with the latest spree of Ghostface killings. 
and she, Sydney, will decide to stick around to not only find her child, but put a stop to Ghostface once and for all. That is a very simple way to go about this. If that is the route Scream 7 is indeed going to take. If Jenna being back isn't a priority to them, it just makes me wonder, is your priority getting Nev Campbell back? And if so, is this going to be a Sam and Sydney co-led film? Similar to how you could argue that Scream 6 was a Sam and Tara co-led film. We know it's still mostly Sam's story, but just take Tara out of the equation and put Sydney in her place. I don't think you'll hear a lot of pushback from people. You might hear the Jenna Ortega Wednesday crowd a little bit outraged and you know, maybe that's for the best. If we, if we end up with a better story without Jenna Ortega, then so be it. But Jenna being a part of Scream 7, of course, one way or another, that's not bad. I also don't think that if she were to sit out, that it's the worst thing ever. Nev Campbell sat out Scream 6. If she ends up coming back to take up Jenna's absence in Scream 7, I would be just fine with that. If they are somehow able to cook up a narrative that explains and makes sense of Jenna's potential departure, then so be it. You guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.